out of all the videos I've ever made, this is the one that's going to change your life. This is the one that's going to give you that aha light bulb moment. I swear. So just stick with me on this and it's, it's going to change your life. Okay. It is. <laughs> do you feel like no matter what you do, you're just not happy. Like you just can't get happy and you're stuck in this rut and you feel like you want to be happy, but like you just can't be, you can't get there. In this video, I'm going to break down why you feel that way and how to get you to a happier state with just a few easy tips and tricks. And it's going to be basic, but it's more of the understanding of why you are so negative and why you can't get out of it. And it's like, it's pretty mind blowing, okay? If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're gonna get you happy. And like, not just for today, not just while you're watching this video, but I'm going to teach you how to be happy moving forward. And I know it sounds crazy for people that have felt stuck in this negative mindset for so long, but this is going to work for you. The thing is, is the concept of happiness is actually really simple, but it can often be difficult to achieve because we don't exactly know why we can't get there or where it's coming from. Now, you might be watching this or listening to this and saying, no, Sarah, I know exactly where it's coming from. It's because I need more money or it's because I'm not in this relationship or it's because you know I want this promotion and someone else got it or any multitude of reasons. But I'm gonna tell you, those aren't actually the reasons why you can't be happy. So let's dive in. So a lot of times we can take things, anything outside of our control that's negative and it kind of makes us bitter. And what we do is we dwell on those things. You know, why did that happen to me? Or why did that person say something? Or why did that person do something? Or blah, 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 blah instead of just moving on. Think of a child who falls and scrapes their knee. They cry for a few minutes, you give them a lollipop, and all of a sudden they're like, what scrape? I love my lollipop, I'm good to go. And their whole energy, attitude, mindset changes just like that. So they forgot about the scraped knee because they were given a lollipop, which is something that makes them happy. In adulthood, instead of enjoying the metaphorical lollipop, we dwell and focus all of our energy on the metaphorical scrape for the whole day, a week, months. Sometimes we think about that scraped knee for years. And as time moves forward, every scrape that we get compounds. And so we focus on it more and more and more, and we focus less and less on the lollipops. This happens because when, when something happens to us or in front of us that we perceive to be bad or negative, we attach it to an emotion. And then our brain chemicals react to that emotion and they connect and create these pathways. And the more and more that happens, it slowly over time becomes our natural state of being. So over time, this becomes our dominant thought pattern. And due to these pathways and our brain infrastructure that we've created and its influences on our hormones, it can make us addicted to this negativity because of the hormones that are involved, which makes us more unfamiliar with happiness. So I wanna ask you a question, okay? And it's gonna sound like a simple question, but I'm genuinely asking you, do you actually want to be happy? If you do, comment yes in the comments below. And now we're going to talk about how to become and move forward and attain that happiness. Because if you don't actually want it and you don't actually want to change things, then turn this video off because there's no point in watching it if you don't actually want change in your life, if you don't actually want to be more positive. Say hi. 
See how easy it is, Are you being a bad girl while I'm trying to film? <laughs> All right, so if you're still here, you wanna be happy. You wanna learn how to be happy. And all you need to do is change those neural pathways in your brain and restructure them. Because what has happened over time, you have become so comfortable in your unhappiness that you actually, on a chemical level, in your brain, in your body, in your mind, reject happiness. How crazy. How crazy. Doesn't that sound crazy? Reject happiness. But that's how the chemicals in your brain react when you're so accustomed to this cycle of being unhappy. Because what happened over time is that happiness for you became unfamiliar and uncomfortable. And then when you do become happy or when something that is that makes you happy, such as a new career or a job opportunity or more money or a person coming into your life that you love and they make you happy, it can almost feel wrong or inappropriate to feel happy and to allow it to make you happy. So you self-sabotage yourself to get back into your comfort zone, which is being unhappy and feeling more negative. Your brain is essentially wired to be scared of being happy. And so you self-sabotage to force yourself back in your comfort zone to feel negative again, and then it creates this cycle and it gets deeper and deeper and deeper over time. And you don't even realize you're doing it. That's the crazy part. <laughs> because the thing is, is if your subconscious, which has been scientifically proven to control 95 to 96% of your life, all of these things are happening in this chemical level and you don't even know it. So what you have to do is consciously change that if you want to be happy and you want to be more positive and enjoy life because that's what we're supposed to do. And guess what? It's going to take time. It's going to require effort, but <laughs> Isn't anything in life worth having, especially your own pure joy and happiness? Doesn't that deserve some attention? Doesn't that deserve effort? Isn't that the whole point of why you do anything is to enjoy it and to be happy? So if you don't do anything else or work on anything else in your life, work on your happiness because what you have to essentially do is literally rewire your brain and your neurological pathways to be more positive. So it's simple. You just need awareness. Awareness when a negative thought comes up and replacing them with new positive thoughts. That's it. That's, that's how simple it is to go from being negative and unhappy to being positive and, and happy and enjoying and loving your life. So an example could be when you're stuck in traffic, okay? The second, the second you catch yourself thinking some kind of negative thoughts, such as, oh, this is so annoying, I'm stuck in traffic, or, oh, I'm gonna be late, or I just wanna be home after a long day. The second a negative, you catch yourself and you have that awareness that a negative thought creeps into your mind, change it, switch it. Such as, I am so grateful to be in my warm, safe car, even if it takes me a little longer to get home today. And you do it over and over and over and over again every time. Like, negative thought comes in, you push it out. Negative thought comes in, you replace it. Like, that's all you do over and over and over again. And over time, just like with the negative thoughts, you're rewiring and creating those new pathways in your brain to think more positively. So over time, it becomes easier and more familiar and you'll stop that self-sabotage and it'll feel more comfortable for you to be happy. Just like if, if you spent the last 20 years eating fast food, not doing any type of workouts and feeling very, maybe, maybe a little overweight or unhealthy or whatever it is, it's gonna take more than 30 days to swing it back the other way. 
And then as you do that, you have to stay consistent with it. It's an ongoing process. You don't see people that go to the gym and work out and have you know, shredded muscles. They don't just get to a certain point and they're like, okay, I'm done now. Like I did it, I'm done. It's an ongoing process. And it's the same thing with positive thinking and rewiring your brain from a negative to a positive one. Sure, it gets easier and easier over time, just like going to the gym and lifting weights or doing whatever it is, but it's an ongoing process and it's something that you have to continue doing if you truly want to be happy and if you truly want to be positive. Guys, I love you so much and the only reason I make videos on this channel is because I want to help as many people as possible live such a beautiful and happy and loving and fulfilling life. This has been my favorite video to create for you guys because I feel so passionate about it. I just want you to do it. If you're feeling this way, just what do you have to lose? Do it, try it. Take it day by day. You can do this. I know you want to be happy. You gotta stop getting in your own way, okay? I love you guys so much and I wish you all of the happiness in the world. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you have someone in your life that could use this information, send it to them, share it with them. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.